Welcome back YouTube. In today's video we're going to be conducting the VL Touch installation in my Ender 6 3D printer. So, let's open up the box here and see what's going on. Inside the box we're going to find the manual, some cables, zip tie, the VL Touch, and some screws to mount it to the Ender 6. Some of the reasons that I wanted to upgrade and add this to my 3D printer was to improve reliability and to take out some of the human error when conducting bed leveling using the paper method. The second reason that I wanted to upgrade was the increased reliability and consistency of going print to print and being able to verify that the bed hasn't shifted and reduce the amount of times that I have to conduct leveling. The final reason that I wanted the BL Touch was to be able to look at the map that's produced from the device to be able to print small items and keep them in an area that's fairly level. Now that I have the BL Touch all unboxed, it's time for a build montage while I install it into the... The first step in the process was to remove the fan shroud around the hot end heater block. Once I got all the screws out, there on the left side of the heater block, you could see the mounting points for the BL Touch. So I set aside the heater block, connected the cords for the BL Touch. I was able to easily screw in the VL Touch at this point. Once the VL Touch was mounted inside the shroud, I reattached the shroud uh, by screwing the screws back in to their mounting points on the carriage. Once I was done reattaching the fan assembly to the carriage, I did some rough cable management uh, to route the cable for the BL Touch. I'm going to improve this cable system in the future. As you can see, there's some loose wires already. After adding the new software, for the BL Touch to the memory card, I installed it into the Creality so we could do a firmware update. Upon completion of the firmware update, I realized that the screen was locked on the base language that comes with the 3D printer and I couldn't change it to any other available language. After some more googling, I discovered that the solution to fix the screen problem was to update the firmware of the screen. To do this, I had to remove the four bolts holding the screen shroud onto the printer, and then on the back side, I had to remove four more bolts holding the screen onto the shroud. Once the screen was removed, I inserted the micro SD card into the screen. And powered the printer on.
Here you can see the screen going through its firmware update. At this point, my camera died and I finished recording the update on my uh, cell phone. Once the update was complete, you can clearly see that the screen was easily changed into English. Due to my camera dying, I don't have any footage of me reassembling it, but I just reinserted all eight bolts involved in removing the screen from the printer and powered the printer back on. The final step of my process was to let the printer go through its bed detection part of the automated bed leveling. Once I was done this, I was able to successfully complete a print. If you found this video useful, like, comment, and subscribe below. If you have any future suggestions for videos that I should do, also add that in the comments below. Thank you, have a great day.